okay so in the last class we have discussed about ambiguity in a grammar and we have also discussed about uh, the way in which an ambiguous grammar can be converted to an equivalent unambiguous grammar we have discussed about certain rules like association rules associativity rules and operator precedence with which we can convert an ambiguous grammar to an unambiguous grammar today we will look at how i can create a syntax tree so uh, by using a technique called as top down parsing this technique is called top down parsing because we create the syntax tree in a top down fashion that means first the root node will be created and then followed by the leaf nodes okay in this fashion the creation will happen okay that is why it is called top down parsing this parsing is also called as what we call as predictive parsing why it is called predictive parsing because um, let me give you a simple example so suppose you have expression as expression plus expression and you have expression as suppose expression minus expression and you have expression as number okay now the creation of parse tree depends on what is the production i am choosing for a given non terminal okay now for a given non terminal expression here i have three different productions possible okay suppose my input string is 4 plus 5 minus 6 so the current input is 4 okay through which i can apply expr as now okay so if i apply that then in the next input when it is plus my uh, i cannot move forward okay i cannot derive further okay uh, from this uh, if i if i apply the third rule okay this is first second third so i so i need to predict at every time i need to predict which uh, rule i should select so that i can completely derive this input string okay from the given grammar so that is why and and while deriving it i can always create the parse tree and that is why it is called predictive parsing my prediction may be currently wrong or right i don't know but i have to predict on the basis of the current input okay and the current non terminal i am processing and that is why it is called predictive parsing okay now this parsing is also called as recursive descent parsing so the parsing technique is recursive in nature because we are using a context free grammar and the grammar itself is recursive in nature okay when i am saying that expression is expression plus expression okay that means i can so so let me write it down so if i have the production expression as expression and ex plus expression that means this tells me that in order to parse the given non terminal expression i need to parse expression i need to consume this plus token and again i need to parse another expression okay so 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 just to make this so that is why it is recursive in nature okay and and since i am going downward it is called recursive descent parsing okay so these three terminologies these three def, uh, means names top down parsing predictive parsing and recursive descent parsing are used simultaneously okay so let me give you a small example as how generally we create a top down parser okay so how it is performed so suppose i have a given uh, language in which i have 
two rules of the grammar one is for so my statement is a non terminal which can be an if else statement that means if is a token okay if expression so expression is a non terminal then then is another token then you have statement okay else else is another token you have statement this is the grammar for if else statement and i have another grammar suppose simple grammar is so statement can be so suppose print print is suppose a token in my uh, language okay print expression and suppose my expression is always constant so suppose it is a number okay for number is a token so with these three rules how will i generate a parse tree from a given input string so for that what we do so, so the first step is to first uh, uh, means make it uh, so create recursive functions for every non terminal okay just so so just let us try to write uh, an expression suppose so so my function expression so i can write parse so i can have functions parse statement okay one function one function will be parse parse expr another will be parse nothing so so only i think two non terminals are used one is statement and another is expression okay so i have two functions parse statement and parse expression now how will parse expression will look like so function parse expression will be if my current token is a number then just attach attach the token to leaf okay so so this will take a tree pointer suppose i have a given tree okay and the current node at which i am uh, present uh, currently and this so this is my expression node actually okay and i am invoking the parse expression function and i am finding that the current token is a number okay so if current token is a number then i will attach this number okay in the parse tree otherwise i will flag an error flag error understood now let us see what is the equivalent if else means what is the statement function for an if else statement so i have already written that a statement is if expression then statement else statement okay or uh, uh what was the other rule so what was, the other rule is a print print which is a token another token i have my customized grammar so print expression okay so so my function will be void parse statement which will take a tree pointer t okay so it will start with what so if my current token is if then what i need to do i need to do a set of functions what i need to do i need to call parse expression 
okay so i'll first consume if consume the current token and move the token pointer to the next so if i have if a b is equal to c uh, or or suppose print if a print c okay then uh, else print d print uh, so if suppose uh, my expression is a number so in accordance with the grammar so if uh, 4 print 5 else print 6 okay so this is in accordance with the grammar now so i consume if consume the token if and move the uh, token pointer uh, move the scanner pointer to the next token i'll then invoke parse expression okay and then uh, what i should do i should after i invoke the parse expression it is completed then i should again invoke parse statement okay then what i need to do i should consume the token else and then again i should uh, call parse statement understood I am just writing means in words to parse a given statement if the current token is a if then what I need to do I need to consume that token move the par scanner pointer to the next token I need to invoke the parse expression function okay to parse the expression I need to uh, then uh, invoke parse statement then uh, I need to consume the else part and again invoke parse statement. So in this way it is recursive. So parse statement is invoking parse statement itself. Okay. So in this way, uh, for a given top for creating a uh, abstract syntax tree using top-down parsing, we create functions for each of those non-terminals. Okay. But we need to see that for a given current token, this uh, choice should be distinct okay and that we will discuss how we will determine a given production okay